Hey there and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. So as uh, soon as that time of the year when um, you offer things and you receive things from the beloved ones and um, I said to myself this is the perfect time to talk about my uh, almost perfect street photography bag, the one that I prefer and this is the Peak Design uh, Everyday Sling. So uh, this is the 6 liter version. In this video I'm gonna just uh, talk about the things that I really love about this bag and why this is for me the almost perfect street photography uh, bag. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. First of all, let's talk about the design. Um, I really love how this bag looks. It's very stylish, it's very uh, uh, unconspicuous. It looks cool, it looks very sleek. Uh, it has also a modern look, so uh, one of the things that I really like about this bag is the design and the way it looks. And for me it's important, especially when I'm on, out in the streets, not to, to draw attention on me. So uh, as normally when I'm on doing street photography, I want to be as stealth as I can so uh, uh, people notice me less on the streets. So uh, one of the reasons that I really love this bag is the design, the way it looks. It's stylish, it's sleek, it looks very cool. It doesn't look like a camera, like a normal camera bag. This was one of the things that uh, really uh, attracted me first to, um, to, to get this bag, the way it looks. And uh, to be honest, it's a, it's a very beautiful design. It's a very simple, minimalistic design and it looks, uh, it looks very, very good. So now let's talk a little bit about the features and the practicality. So as I mentioned before, there are um, three types of bag. This is the, the medium one if you want. Uh, this is the six liter bags. And for me, for my needs, it's perfect. And uh, when I'm traveling, I have my, uh, my passport and my wallet here. Um, in case I want to go for a little bit more security, there's also a, a pocket inside, which uh, fits also a 11 inch tablet. Uh, so this is the inside pocket here. And you can put um, a tablet here, it has a magnetic lock, so it keeps everything in place and um, it's, it gives you more like security or uh, safety when you're traveling and you don't have to, you don't want to have your valuable belongings here in the, in the outside pocket. When I'm not traveling, so where I'm like going out in Belgium shooting street photography or I leave my, uh, my wallet uh, inside, um, for me, it's, I, I want to keep it as simple as I can, so I keep my camera inside with a GoPro always mounted uh, on the camera. So uh, it, it has to be enriched. I have to take it uh, quickly out if, it needed, if it's needed. But most of the time when I'm taking the camera out, it's just gonna stay around my neck for the, for the whole day. But I prefer like having, having it directly like this in the, in the bag. So I take it out and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shoot for, uh, for the day. It has two pockets on the side here where I keep my batteries, so uh, I have a spare battery for my camera. Um, it has also a, um, a zipper pocket here, which is very handy because you can put your cards here and you can put your batteries. So here I have my, uh, my GoPro batteries, I have uh, many of them and I have also um, my cards here and you can put other things like uh, a small charger, headphones, uh, yeah, small headphones. It gives me uh, enough enough room to put my camera with the GoPro mounted. But if you want, you can keep uh, um, you can mount also the the dividers that that cam comes with the with the bag. So um, there are two dividers, and you can fit up to one DSLR and two lenses, uh, two small lenses. So it's a practical bag even for uh, like a person that. Uh, doesn't use like mirrorless camera or it, it, or even for the photographers that want to have like several uh, a camera and several lenses so uh, from this point of view this is like uh, uh, a pretty good um, let's say um, welcoming bag for uh, for photographers um, personally I, I got this bag for for street photography so uh, I don't carry my my work cameras here it's just for to do street photography I like the fact that it's uh, lightweight and you can um, carry it like all day uh, on your shoulders or on your back, uh, and um, it's very uh, easy to adjust uh, to adjust it um, in terms of your needs. Um, it has also other practicalities that I won't mention in the video, but I'm gonna put the link from the Peak Design in the description of the video. If you want, you can uh, 
like adjust it to carry it uh, around your waist. This is not my thing, but you can do it if you're um, if you're planning to use it uh, in other um, in other situations. You can also, uh, if you're riding a bike, you can uh, also uh, quickly adjust it in order to not to to move. So I didn't find any information about this bag being uh, water resistant or uh, uh, waterproof, rainproof, but uh, um, the only thing that's mentioned on the Peak Design website is about the, the zippers, that the zippers are waterproof, so uh, it won't rain inside. Um, I went outside with it in a um, couple of times when it was raining in, in Belgium, but uh, it was like medium rain, so um, it, my camera didn't get wet inside. But probably like if you're staying outdoors on a rainy day, um, the whole day, uh, the bag will gonna, gonna get wet. One of the things that I regretted that it doesn't have uh, at the beginning when I use this bag is like uh, um, just a comp like just a pocket, outside pocket to put a bottle of water, especially when you're like staying outside um, all the day and uh, um, you need to, to hydrate yourself and you, uh, it's, it's warm. But um, this is not a problem because once I get my camera off, I'm gonna just put inside a bottle of water that fits perfectly. So this is my take on the everyday uh, sling six liter bag from, uh, from Peak Design. Um, if you find this uh, video helpful or if you're uh, in need of a street photography uh, bag for your wanderings on the street, uh, probably this is a very good choice. Um, I'm gonna put the link from the Peak Design in the, um, uh, in the description of the video. This is not the um, affiliate link, so um, uh, you, you can just check it out and see uh, how it works for yourself. But personally, I do recommend this bag if you're a street photographer and uh, if you need a quality bag. I love it and uh, I'm very happy with it. So uh, yeah, if you find this video helpful, feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you don't, well, don't. And uh, thank you for being here and see you very soon. Take care.